Guys, I will never forget the day my partner found my pump. I was doing PE in secret, waking up super early before she basically got up. I had it stored in a closet at the top of a closet, kind of outside of the bathroom in the basement. I thought I had put it away enough. Lo and behold, she was looking for this car battery pack that actually is packaged very similar to the product package that I was using. She saw it, grabbed it, said, came upstairs with my pump and was like, what is this? And I was like, And she's like, is this a penis pump? Like, what are you doing with this? Are you trying to get bigger? You guys know that I'm a pretty big guy and I felt about this big. Fortunately, your boy Hink is pretty smooth and I had been doing research on this. I didn't really have an answer prepared, but I was like, yes, it's a pump. You know, it's not about trying to get bigger. It's about, you know, maximizing erection quality and maximizing blood flow. But I kind of had a cop-out answer. This guy is good. It was really awkward. It's a day that will almost live in infamy for me. And even now I'm still kind of paranoid about it. That being said, guys, today's video is gonna be all about discussions with your partner. Should you do it? When should you do it? What kind of discussion points should you have? Or should you keep PE a secret and do it just for yourself? And if you are gonna do it in secret, you know, what are some of the tips and some of the ways that you can do it in secret and get and be successful with it? Guys, I'm not gonna lie. The best thing I think overall, in my opinion, is an open and frank discussion with your partner. Partner. Yes, I'm interested in penis enlargement. Here's why, okay? Now, this is the most mature approach, but it's also the hardest approach because I think it takes you putting away, maybe aside your ego, putting aside your personal insecurities and just being straightforward and honest with the person. Since that point where she found my pump, you know, it hasn't exactly been in the context of this is why I'm doing PE, but I have had very many conversations about my partner about like my penis insecurities. One of the times she was reading this Fifty Shades of Grey style-ish novel, and of course the protagonist in the novel like had a huge slong and she decided to tell me about it. God, as you can imagine, even now, even now that I'm bigger, this was like maybe four or five months ago, like it still really, really messed with me, only for about a day, but it really messed with me. I said, I appreciate you sharing that with me, but I'm insecure for these reasons. I mean, and she said, now, this is me not intentionally trying to flex, but she said that the only reason she felt comfortable telling me is because the guy in the story reminded her of me. I was like, oh, okay, you know, cool. I wish you would have said that rather than just talking about this dude's massive slung, but that's neither here nor there, guys. The point is if you discuss your insecurities and why you want to get bigger, or you just, you don't have insecurities and maybe you're doing it because you want to try to give her or him like more pleasure when you guys are engaging in, you know, your physical activities. Or for some guys, it's just a self-confidence issue. It's that kind for me, I know it was, it was like that self-confidence was holding me back from doing some of the things that I wanted to do or being the person that I wanted to be. So I think you need to be open and frank about that. I do think you have to be very careful guys because like in this article here penis size shaming is weaponized against men and it is not fair. I mean I'm not going to go on any kind of like pilled format or anything but you know you can't talk anything about a woman's body these days but they can still in mainstream media small penis jokes are a dime a dozen. They're in every show they're in every piece of media. Haha <laughs> he has a small penis in some regard and you know personally I think that's messed up. I think it's a double standard but regardless I have heard multiple stories about men who confided in their partners about PE and then lo and behold they break up and then their partner brings that up about how they were either doing PE tell their friends about how they were doing PE or will just ridicule them about and basically size shame them so just be very careful guys and make sure if you're going to have these open discussions that it is with somebody that you trust and that you know is not going to use that against you in the future a major discussion point is going to be the potential health benefits okay so number one for guys that are getting older so one of the things that I told Older, is guys the penis atrophies with age your penis atrophies or literally shrinks with age if you're not careful part of that is due to decreases in testosterone part of it is because things like hypertension and diabetes can damage the vasculature down there part of it is from things just like decreased erectile function at night so you don't get as much nighttime wood and therefore you don't get that chronic expansion but it's kind of this use it or lose it type of thing there has been plenty of published data guys like some of the things that I'm going to talk about here that show that not only will this help prevent penile atrophy it doesn't have to be about getting bigger it's about preserving the size you have but there are also very clear erection benefits guys here's one paper here that talks about how the regular use of pumping basically especially in high risk patients so diabetes high cholesterol hypertension high blood pressure it, it leads to preserved erectile function and even improved erection quality this study right here shows that chronic use of a pump can actually improve the cavernous or the blood flow into the chambers of the penis here's a study here in men that have had 
basically prostate cancer surgery that shows that erectile function improves with the use of pump combined with something like a PDE5 inhibitor. Speaking of a PDE5 inhibitor, if you want the next best thing, a good quality citrulline based product, of course, like Vigor guys, I designed it myself, is going to get you there. It's been an unbelievable hit. I can't believe how much you guys are buying this. Thank you so much. It's Amazon choice, guys. Check it out if you're interested. Link is in the description. But regardless, guys, there's countless evidence that this actually improves penile health in general. And I think that is a number one argument you can use for your point if you want to have this discussion about PE, in particular pumps. And along with that, guys, if you want to use how to maximize the use of the pump in the safest and most efficient manner, combined with things like manual stretching to increase your actual length and girth of your penis, my course is available online, guys. It's getting you know, great reviews. If you want a step-by-step -step video guide from me on how to get bigger like I did, check it out. Guys, the other option is you can keep this a secret, okay? This is kind of the hybrid approach that I use. You know, I already said my significant other found my pump, but she has not found it since, and that was like two months into my PE journey back in like September of 2020, okay? I keep it a secret. I don't openly discuss it like, oh, well, I'm going downstairs to pump, sweetie. Like that's just, that's just not my approach, okay? And that's not what I wanna do. I wanna hear from the comments and from you guys, but I actually disagree when guys are like, you need to tell your partner about it. I'm not gonna use my mocking voice because some of you guys are so goddamn sensitive about that. I don't think you need to tell your partner. I think that this is a personal journey, that, that this is a personal journey that I'm on, okay? This is about my self-improvement. It doesn't really have anything to do with her to an extent. Now guys, if she was really complaining like, oh, you are smashing my cervix, I don't enjoy being intimate with you anymore. Or if she was like, oh, your girth is too much, I can't do BJs like I want to or it hurts my jaw. Or if she was complaining about my size being too big, then that that is a different thing because that is selfish if she's already complaining about these things and yet I still want to continue. That has not been my experience. For me personally, I was fine when I was smaller too, so you smaller guys don't get all worked up, okay? It, it has been like, bigger has been better. I mean, it, ju it just has as far as like my intimacy encounters for a lot of different reasons, mainly the confidence piece of it. So there's a couple of arguments. I personally don't, like if I wanted to start to get into really good shape, okay? Like when I when I actually dropped my 30 pounds, okay? Callie, put up the picture now. Yeah, Callie, put up the picture. The point is, I wasn't like, Sweetie, I'm thinking about losing 30 pounds. What do you think? Like, no, I wanted to lose 30 pounds for myself. I wanted to get in shape. I wanted to get my six pack back. And I did that for myself. Of course, she would appreciate it, but for my overall health and well being. To me, PE is similar to that. It's like, I want to do this for myself, for my, you know, penile health in general, but also for my personal journey and my self confidence. Now, that being said, if my partner was like, you know, well, I want to get breast reduction. Maybe I'm, I'm talking out of both sides of my mouth here, but I would want to be a part of that discussion. Conversely, if she said, I want to get breast implants, I would want to be a part of that discussion because, you know, that kind of does impact me. So I get both arguments, but there's so many guys that, you know, just feel so adamantly that you have to tell your partner, I completely disagree. And that's my right to disagree here in America. So, you know, let me know in the comments, guys, which way do you think it should go? But regardless, if you do want to keep it a secret, here are some tips to help you keep it a secret. Number one would be do it at a time where your partner is not there, your housemate is not there, your family is not there, okay? Or at least not conscious, okay? Meaning they're asleep. Like for me, I get up super early in the morning. Five o'clock in the morning, go downstairs, I get my PE done while my vigor is kicking in before I go to the gym. That's when I do my PE. It's nice because it's it's early. I know that nobody else is awake. I know I have my privacy. I know I'm not going to be interrupted. It's just, and it's also kind of my time to to kind of just reflect and get ready for the day. It's what works for me, guys. Conversely, if you know your partner goes to sleep very early, maybe your partner goes to sleep and you go down or you go into the kitchen or you go wherever once your partner's asleep and then you do it if that's what you want to do. But you need to just find a time where you know that you're not going to get interfered with. You also probably want to avoid equipment, guys. Manual stretches or manual girth exercises just using your hands is probably going to be your best bet. Your next best bet is going to be something like a minimal device. For example, something like a, like a C-ring where you could do something like soft clamping is going to be a good bet where, you know, it doesn't really matter if it's, it's left out. Nobody's really going to be like, hey, is that a C-ring over there? You also need to be careful if you're going to use equipment. For example, you know, you guys can see all of these shoe boxes behind me. Actually, that 
box right there. So, nope, it's actually not this one. Ha <laughs> So this one right here actually has a device in it. I kind of hide my stuff in plain sight because there's literally probably about, I don't know, 450 shoe boxes down here for her to get suspicious and like start going through one by one. Like she's never gonna find it. But anyways, it's I'm not trying to intentionally keep it a secret, but I also don't want it right in her face so she can find it. I think shoe boxes are a great place to hide pumps. Guys, if you need a pump, peakmailphysique.com. But you just need to find a place where you know you can keep it secret and keep it safe like the Lord of the Rings. Is it secret? Is it safe? Guys, <laughs> very importantly, you need to have a plan for when you get caught, okay? If you are doing this in private, you're gonna get caught at some point. I mean, most likely, unless you're incredibly meticulous. One day you're gonna get too comfortable and you're gonna forget and you might leave it out or like you could get unlucky with me and your spouse just goes searching for something completely unrelated and ends up finding it. But you need to just have a plan in place. If you are keeping it secret, make sure you have a, yes, you found my pump. No, I wasn't intentionally trying to keep it a secret from you. I was just doing something to improve myself and improve my erection quality and maximize my penile health long-term. Something like that, just so you have a script in your mind. So the first time I was trying PE, and this was back in like 2011, maybe 2012, I actually was using a, an extender, like a real cheap extender that, you know, I didn't think would work at the time and it ended up not working for me. But regardless, I had it in a bag and I had actually flown with it on a trip. That's how dedicated I was to trying to get bigger. My dad had come over and from time to time, he's an amazing man and he likes, he tries to help me out with my laundry sometimes. So he had come over and was actually helping me with my laundry and of course like found the extender i get back in and like the bag that had all my stuff from the trip is completely empty except for my extender and like <laughs> all my clothes were folded on the bed and i was just like oh my god <laughs> oh, Carl declined. embarrassing <laughs> Carl was declined. we've never spoken about it i mean he didn't know what it was man yeah so i've been caught like basically every time that i've <laughs> tried to do pe in secret so anyways, guys, video is long enough. Hopefully you learned something. Leave some tips down below. I mean, let me know. Number one, do you think you should tell your partner about it? And number two, if you do want to keep it secret, what are some of the tips that you would recommend? My channel's blown up, guys. I can't thank you enough. Remember, there's nothing wrong with self-improvement, but you are enough just as you are. Okay, catch you guys on the next one. Peace and love.